All right, I want you to think about what, which one of these questions do you think would be the most interesting or the most challenging to solve, okay? Talk with your partner for a minute. We're going to vote, all right? We're going to take a vote and see what you guys think, all right? So talk, see, see what you think would be most interesting or, and challenging. Talk with your partner. All right, here we go. Let's start right in the very front here. So, which problem do you think you guys would be most challenging or how interesting? Much, how much tea do you need? Okay, so I'm going to actually erase this. How much tea do you need? So we have one vote for that. All right, how about you guys? What did you guys decide? Um, how much tea do you need? How much tea do you need? Okay. All right. How about you guys here? Which one did you decide was most interesting or challenging? How many how many Sorry. people could fit if we put five tables together? Okay, so that's one for that. All right. How about you guys? The area of the table. Hmm? The area of the table. The area of the table. This one, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. How about you guys? How, how many teachers are sitting at the table because you don't know how many teachers are in the school? Mm-hmm. So how many teachers? And then if we don't know how many teachers are in the uh, school, then we are wonder which one is how many teachers? Oh, is this one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. How about uh, you guys? How many people could fit if we put five tables together? Five tables together. Wow. So I'd say we have um, we have a tie for first place here, huh? Now the question is: of these two questions, talk with your partner. Which ones do we have enough information to answer? All right. Talk with your group. Of these two, can we answer either one of them or both of them? Talk with your buddies. All right, time out. Okay, so um, over here, which one did you guys think we might have enough to answer? Either one? How many people could fit if we put five tables together? Okay, so we have one vote for that one. So, um, and how about you guys in the back? Which one do you think? How many people could fit if we put five tables together? Okay, how about you guys? How many people could fit if we put five tables together? I'm detecting a trend here, huh? How about you guys? All right, people could fit if we put five tables together. All right, and how about you guys? I already know you because you're already doing it, right? And how about you guys? How many people could fit in if we put five tables together? All right, so let's answer it, okay? Go. Um, Go with your partner. Um, if, you, um, if you would like any tables, I actually have some trapezoids if you'd like. Oh, okay. 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 Well, you can draw them too, that's okay. Well, we've already answered it. And you've already answered it? Well, then can you think of another question that would be real similar? How about 10 tables? How about 1,000 tables? Well, didn't you count this one when you were down? Yeah, I counted this one at the end. After I counted these, there's 17. Because look, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, but yeah, so that we got seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. At first I thought it was like because I looked up there and I was looking at the bottom and I saw I thought it was three. I thought it was like one, two, three, like that. And I thought two sets at this end. But it wasn't it was two sets, this end and one set. No, so I said, oh, yeah, you would have got 20. Yeah. I thought, I thought, I did, I made a position on my own. I thought that, um, because I had, um, miscounted, I thought it was a certain amount. And so, um, because the two, at that, the two ones at the bottom, I thought that, um, that it was three at a long end, but it wasn't. It was two at the, I looked at the one by itself. So I mean, you have to um, pay attention closely because you don't want to make mistakes. And you guessed twenty. Yeah, I guess twenty. Because at first I was looking at just like single tables and out of them, but if they're connected, then you won't get these ends when you do it. So you have to just. Other ways to create five tables. This is a way to create five tables. See, okay. one, two. All right, let's try it that way. Did you just think of that? Yeah, I don't know. What are you trying to say? All ways to combinate So they might not have their five tables straight. Yeah. So it's not going to be straight? But look, so it will be. Two, three, four, 
Six, seven, eight, nine, 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 only because there's no more long sides. Because how we did it, we did uh, the long sides have two teams. And the short ones have one. And we got 17 doing it the long way. So we created a different way to do five. Five. Okay. So if we do it this time, it's 17 again. 17 there. 17 scores. So 17 is this. We got 17 when we did this one, and we got 17 when we did this one. So that means, but only because it was more than one time. Yeah. It is 20. So it's 20. Wait, how did you decide that? Because um, we lined up five tables. And then since there's four people at each table, we did four times five. Mm -hmm. Not 20. Mm -hmm. There's another video. But if we put five tables together, then that person on the end, on that side, those two people wouldn't be able to sit. Like, see, only this one. So the people that are on that side and that side wouldn't be able to sit. So you would have to buy this one. So that's how it goes. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 21. Okay. He did the math before us. So 3 times 3 is 8. I mean 9. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, Okay, so I get it. So you said, all right, if I see people at these three, I can't put people on ends because I know I'm going to stick tables there. Okay, so that's three times three. Okay, that's interesting. Did you just think of that or did you think of that earlier? What are you trying to say? Yeah, so what if there were eight tables? So they might not have. See what you do with eight tables. Think about eight tables. All right? 17. Yeah, how, how would you convince me of that? Okay. What if you had ten tables? How would you how do you think you could figure that out? Talk about that a little bit. See if you could, yeah, maybe. Maybe see if you could come up with it, because eventually that's going to get a little tiring. So think if you could come up with, was, is there a faster way we could find the answer? All right. So I gave several people the challenge. I think everybody thinks, everyone I talked to anyway is pretty sure that it's 17. And they were able to tell me in different ways. But I'm leaving you with the challenge. Some of you asked how many could you put on eight tables. I know, but I'm going to make you wait. Eight tables or ten tables, or some of you might want to figure out how many could sit at a hundred tables. Okay. So I'm going to leave you guys with that challenge, and the next time we come back, we will we will see what you think about that. Does that sound all right? Let me